Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how the background creator works. It's a super easy blueprint that helps you to create a fully procedural layered background in Unreal Engine using only post-process materials. And I made this because I often need to render a scene or show off my assets like static mesh, skeletal meshes or materials without leaving the editor to use third-party software like Marmoset Toolbag or I don't know, Substance Painter. But sometimes you can even use those because you get some fancy shaders that only work in Unreal Engine. Anyway, I needed something non-destructive and customizable so I can visualize my assets on cool and interesting backgrounds. It's also perfect for game menus or reward screens. Alright, so let's dive in and see what you can do with the background creator. So all you get to do is to drag and drop the blueprint into your scene. And I got really simple setup with some basic lighting and two static meshes that I want to showcase. In the details panel you get several sections to control the blueprint, like the background layer, a fake shadow effect, some layers, and global parameters. So you can think of it like a Photoshop layer system. But first let's focus on the background layer. You need to pick the background type, so either it's a solid color, a linear gradient, radial gradient, and some color curve. You can provide a custom color curve gradient, but I'm gonna show that in a second. So first let's focus on the linear gradient. Uh, you can obviously change uh, colors, you can swap them, and you can specify where the gradient starts, uh, ends, you can change its rotation, and finally you can uh, change its offset to better posi position it. Uh, and remember the entire mm, background creator system is a screen, a screen space effect, so it doesn't matter how or where you move your camera, so you can position whatever you like. Okay. The radial gradient works pretty much the same way. So you can change offsets, fall off, and you, when you drop the fall off completely down to zero, you got this perfectly sharp edge. You can change its radius and squeeze it so it's not uh, a perfect circle anymore. And finally, we got the custom color curve background type. So it's based on the color curve asset. It's a special type of Unreal asset where you can create a color gradient of your choice based on those points. But first, let me enable the color bending feature. So it takes the gradient and limits the number and the colors to the number of bands provided here. So let's change it to, let's say, 5, 3, 10, 20. So it's great for stylized backgrounds. And of course, it works with any other gradients. And of course, you can control the color curve background type also. Let's say change the rotation, fall off, and position with changing the offset. So yeah, let's bring back the linear gradient and let me disable color binding for now. So another cool feature of the background creator is the fake shadow effect. Enable it here and now you can pick any static mesh actor from your scene to drop a shadow. Uh, remember this effect uses custom stencils so make sure to enable it in your project setting. Just go ahead and type stencil and in custom depth stencil pass choose enabled with stencil. So now you can change fake shadow intensity and change its offset. So, usually the same effect as you would expect in, let's say, Photoshop. But why it's fake? Because it's not a real shadow, so you can disable any lighting and move your camera around, you see the shadow stays the same. I think it's a cool little feature that helps to, you know, showcase your assets better. Okay, let's move on to layer section. Here you can enable up to three layers. These are texture-based layers that you can blend together. So let me show you how it works. 
First, enable a layer and pick a texture. So let's maybe go with the cross uh, pattern. So now I can change its scale, uh, enable tiling, rotate it, let's say 45 degrees, maybe drop intensity a bit and tint it. So you can of course add pixel offset. So yeah. Layers use alpha channel if a texture has one, but if it doesn't, let's say like in this example, you can always change blend mode. So let me show you what I mean. If I now bring back the intensity and reset tint, we got this black and white texture that is here. So now if I change the blend mode to additive, you see that we got the similar effect. Of course, you don't have to use black and white texture. So let me grab some random seamless texture that I found in the internet like this. So now you can import that. Let's bring back the scale, let's say to 0.5. And if I now change the blending mode to let's say multiply, you see it, dif it behaves differently. Uh, the system also uh, works with non-squared textures. So for instance, if we have like a full HD texture, uh, let me grab one like this retro colorful background. You can use it here. Let's bring back the blend mode to normal and let's reset the offset and rotation. So now it's a good idea to disable tiling and let's bring back the scale so it fits fills your entire screen. So I said that you can enable up to three layers that can blend together. So let me give you an example of that. Let me choose a different texture, change uh, blend mode, adjust the scale with tiling and maybe add rotation. And what's cool about the layer system is you can now copy the entire properties of the layer and change and paste it to another one. But in this second layer, let me change the rotation to maybe negative 25. So we get this, you know, isometric grid pattern. You can, of course, now independently control each of these parameters. And finally, on top of that, Maybe you want to include some logo or your label. Let me change the pivot point to uh, bottom left. Make it smaller and add some, you know, different offsets, something maybe like this. What's cool about the background creator, it's a completely non-destructive workflow and procedural thing. So maybe you decided that the solid background works better with this setup. Maybe you would like to change uh, the color to let's say red, or maybe you don't like the isometric grid anymore and you just want a different texture, or maybe a dot, or maybe some fancy, uh, you know, pattern. So I also included several example templates that you can play around with. Just make sure that you disable or have only one instance of the background creator, creator blueprint because it will not work. So we got it like a Looney Tunes uh, template. We got this, I don't know, fabric or paper texture layout like this. It's cool about these templates that you can build on top of that. So let's say that maybe the green color doesn't fit your scene so you can always go back and maybe choose a different one so yeah play around with this and let me know in comments what do you think thanks